these niggas do it for fun. So today's review comes courtesy of Zuri Hollywood. They actually sent over two units to me, and this is actually my first time reviewing for this company. Um, they actually sent them over a little while ago, so I have to catch up. Um, they sent over Gia in the color 1B, and they also sent over Erin in the color SOMRT Turk. So this is basically like a really pretty turquoise color. So I'm debating which one I should do first. I think I'm going to go with Erin. So you're going to see Erin today, and then Gia will be up later this week. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for her. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's really cute. Um, it's not too big because sometimes the synthetic wigs come in those long boxes. This one will be easier to store and keep up with. Um, definitely love the packaging. And then of course if you don't want to keep the box, you just keep the little envelope and keep your wig in here. Ooh, and she's a pretty color. This is actually my first time checking her out. And this is what you get. I also like the fact that the door, or the, the door, the top of the box actually comes open but it's still attached. So you can keep up with it very nice. And this is what she looks like. The net is keeping it very intact so that the curls don't fall before it's time. And this is what she looks like. She's a nice, really pretty short cut. And the curls are super popping. And you cannot forget about how vibrant this color is. It looks like a custom job to me. It doesn't look like a synthetic wig. And it is a synthetic wig, I did not mention. Um, but I love how vibrant the color is. I hope the camera is picking it up the way I see it in person. But again, it is a turquoise color. And it starts off as like a black, look like a one in the roots. So inside the wig, you do have two combs in the front as well as one comb in the back and your adjustable straps. I think it's really cool that they do have their logo and bowls inside of the wig. And it says, sis, very nice attention to details. So if you do get your wig mixed up with others, you will not forget who this came from. Um, again, this is a breathable cap so that your braids underneath will be able to breathe. And then where you see lace in that parting, you'll be able to part as well as a little bit of lace in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace and get her prepared and I will be back when I have her on my head. Also really closely this is what the parting looks like. I'm going to do my best to make that as realistic as possible and then I will be back. And this is what she looks like on. I definitely, if I had to give it one critique, I would say I wish it was just a little bit longer like to here. But she's definitely super pretty. I absolutely love the color. If you are looking for turquoise, this is it. Because the color is super vibrant. They don't dumb it down, not one bit. Sorry, I have something in my eye. A piece of hair. I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and kind of, kind of pull the curls together. I feel like when you first get a wig, a synthetic wig, it has these type of curls that kind of look synthetic and when you comb it out a little bit it'll look just a little bit more natural I do like the fact that it actually is manageable like a lot of synthetic wigs you can't really get a comb through it this easily this is the information card that was attached to it. The model in the picture is wearing this wig in the pink color, um, and it is a side part. Hers is not as deep as mine, so I don't know if I should make it less. Actually, I like it better deep. So I did add my powder to the parting. As always, I used my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep. And I just took it through there. I did not um, plug or tweeze out the hairline at all. I honestly don't think it really needed it. And then I just took my little brush, pinned a little bit behind the ears. Super pretty. I really, really love this. You can even kind of play and put it 
over your eye. Let me show you guys what this unit looks like from the back. The cap is definitely thicker friendly. Usually when I see color on synthetic wigs, it's a little bit more faint, and this is definitely very vibrant. It reminds you of a custom dye job done to a virgin hair. I love the fact that when you run your fingers or even a wide tooth comb through this unit, it doesn't really tangle, especially for it to be synthetic. What's really cool about their information card is it actually gives you washing instructions on your synthetic wigs or for your synthetic wigs on the back. And it also tells you that this wig is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. So if you um, happen to find that the curls fall or anything, you're definitely able to recurl it or if you want to make it straight or whatever the case may be. Or even with the bang, if you wanted to like re-bump it or something like that, you can definitely do it up to 400 degrees. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.